Hey guys, welcome back to The Witcher 3. Uh, we're up to the part where we're finding Dandelion. Maybe. We were Maybe on not. a search for all the girls that he slept with. Uh, we found a diary of um, a few names of some girls. So oh, we went around no, asking she, them if they beautiful. know where Dandelion is. Uh, so now we're finally to the part where we're off to... It's called... How do you pronounce it? Va Atra Villa. Um, where we think uh, the girl there would know where Dandelion is. So just heading there now. Cool, all right. So uh, we also went to... One of the ladies, we went to go horse riding with her, um, and yeah, we ended up getting one of the superior saddles, which is awesome for Roach. The stamina would last longer. And now let's see. What do you want? <laughs> I'm the new cook. I'm the new cook. And them pointy things sticking out behind you, they your <laughs> cleavers? Away with you, vagrant. Ah, let's talk to him again. Shut off. Oh, whoa, we can't go Bloody in now. <laughs> let me in. What do you want? You talk to me now? Want to see Rosa for Atra. Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. Ah, find a way into the that My head spins. Maybe I can climb. Oh, what? Come on, we can get up on that roof. Come on, Carol, you're a freaking witcher, man. Ugh. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. <laughs> oh! Maybe through here. You're here with the surface, yes? Oh, oh. there's like a loop around. Oh. Oh! Gotta be careful there. What's that? Oh, nice! Treasure chest. Hey! Come on, girl, you can do that. Ah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! It's a long drop. Come on, there has to be a way. Alright, there's a ledge here. Awesome! Oh! It's a dead body. Interesting. Oh, what's that about? My darling Rosa, from the first moment I set eyes upon you that fateful evening at the Veggie Buds, my heart has only beaten for you. I can't eat or sleep. My master threatens to terminate my apprenticeship. And I don't even know if you remember me. Albert Vigibald introduced us near the roast cape and table. Happened to be eating one when I saw you. It stuck in my throat and I started to choke and you laughed. Oh, how sweetly, how brightly you laughed. That marvellous sound still fills my ears to this day and I live in the hope that I'll be given a chance to hear it once more. I beg you, meet with me, even if just for a moment, just for a second, I will wait by the well in Gil Gildorf every day at dusk. If you care for the life of a poor lad fallen hopelessly in love with you, take pity and come. Do not torture me with eternal waiting. Ugh. Desperate much. She's not interested. You Just move on, men mate. Like me. Whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And yeah. I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss, before I report this to Papa. Who's that, Rosa? Sounds like she's got a bit of an attitude. Poor guy, man. That's why you don't get hung up on girls. You just... She's not interested? Just move on. Is 
Same the other way around. If the guys are interested in you and if you're a girl. Loot! Yes. Is that Who her? are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? <laughs> I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac, my new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But miss, he just claimed to be the cook. He's a cheat. He <laughs> <laughs> See, Frederick, did I not warn you not to jest with the guards? They haven't any sense of humor whatever. Now take Master de Bergerac to the training room, quickly. As you say, miss. Oh, thank you, Rosa. Dandelion must have been real important to you. <laughs> See you later, mate. Why have you realised what you've got yourself into? Hope so too. Miss oh, Rosa's I know. got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one. Ooh. Take care not to hurt the little miss. Can I loot in front of him? Or... Is he gonna... Follow me. Oh no, he's all good with us taking it. It's all good. Can we take this too? Pretty hungry, mate. Okay. And I'll take this. went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your work. Oh, really? Are you that good? Miss Rosa. Use what you sells on her. Why bother with two swords when you can barely handle Oh, oh damn it! Well put. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your sword play instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Should we give her the letter? I'm the letter from that lover? A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Very exciting. Incredibly. But we ought to discuss that another time. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him. But not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Yeah, she's got a bit of an attitude. I don't think she can easily just let any guy. But enough chatter. 
Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Really now? A few must. I'll show you. Oh. Can I do Witcher? No, Come yeah. On. Can't do the Witcher scene. Oh, yeah, the whack the magic. Not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Yep, but an exchange. Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix ups mastermind. Oh, the Edna Var Atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Ah. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. They look exactly Edna the same. Sent Dandelion some love letters. And exactly the she same signed voice. my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. Oh. He'll next sing at your funeral so if you don't stop like it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Uh, why Listen, did that one have I a um, one timer? Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Maybe Edna feel like that choice was I important. certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Who'd Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, Trebaritz. of course. Trebaritz? What this is woman. that? Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Ah, sorry, I've changed my mind. Now nah, we'll help out. Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. Oh, just flirty, flirty. Hmm, that choice that was timed. I feel like since it's timed, that must have been important, right? Will it affect some sort of outcome? Hmm. Well, I guess we get to see the lady tomorrow and build some sort of relationship. Um, but anyway. Ooh, loot! This is what I'm looking for. Anything else? They're like two sisters, but they're quite opposite, eh? One's real feminine, girly, the other is tomboyish. Cool, let's go find Zoltan now. Oh, whoops, I thought that was a place to go through. Oh, this is cozy.
Right. Look awfully suspicious to me, trap. Are you dwarf Zoltan? What's this? Have me even drunk it? Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? She wants to start talking any day now. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure, you know me that well. Why is the eyes Mark covered my up? Words. She'll be playing point with us in no time. But we were to talk about dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, mystery woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. Hey, it's did you speak to her? Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. <laughs> okay. So how dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. Oh. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more. The laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This will be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Got dandelion wrapped around her finger. Meet Zoltan and the Kingfisher in after sundown. Which is now, but it's 3 a.m. So can we. Does it still count? Or is it gonna be considered sunrise soon? So. Hmm. Let's try to get there. I realized um, sometimes when I meditate oh. till like say 4 a.m. the sun starts rising already so I wonder if this is still considered night. Help a poor fellow out. The oh. Nearly oh. What was that? Truth is we're already dependent on black buttons economically. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's probably too late now. I'll just meditate for a bit. I'm gonna meditate in here. Oh, what? Okay, I need to meditate outside then. Ah! That meditation just helps you pass time real quick, eh? Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. We can start soon. <laughs> arse rests. I love the language sometimes, it's so cool. Why is no one clapping? Bit of a down buzz.
tender caress to bind our fortunes. Damn what the stars are. Rend my heart open. Then your love profess a winding, weaving fate to which we both atone. You flee, my dream come the morning. Your scent berries tart, lilac sweet. To dream, raven locks and twisted stormy. I will follow into the storm to find your heart, its passion displaced by our ever growing, hardening into stone amidst the cold to hold you in a heated embrace. You flee, my dream come the morning. Your scent berries tart, lilac sweet. To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy, of violet eyes glistening as you weep. I know not if fate would have us live as one, or if. By love's blind chance, we've been bound. The wish I whispered when it all began. Did it forge a love you might never have found? You flee, my dream come the morning. Your scent berries tart, lilac sweet. Raven locks and twisted stormy of violet eyes glistening as you weep. Very beautiful. Wow, her voice. It's like enchanting. Oh man, everyone was so enchanted today. Eh? <laughs> crack up how the guys are crying. <laughs> you fell in love, didn't you, girl? She's from the inn. It was him murdered some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Yeah, why are you causing a fuss? And again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. Oh, she's saving us. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. How does she get to White Orchid? Like, so random. It permits me. Wasn't she to working there? Uh, this year's Priscilla. Known also as Kalanetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say Sorceresses. <laughs> That's right, sorceresses. Plural. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? 
<laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. No. Oh. Not here. She... Come with me. Ah. Oh. I thought she didn't want to give us anything. There a reason cool. for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? She up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven, who's Reuven. that? What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Veres, mm. and the King of Beggars. King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. This is like, it looks like I got to rescue Dandelion again. Here I yes. go again. Always the hero. Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry up. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, I've got bugger all to so do this is here. Danny Lyons lover. Heading back to the rosemary. Got Poppy to feed. Nice, nice choice, Danny Lyons. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Take care now. Ooh, 800 experience points. That's heaps. Nice. There's always just dumplings lying everywhere. Oh, what's in there? Blueberries. Geralt! Tell me, you and Dandelion, oh. how'd you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first. Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. See you later. Take care now. So let's go. All right, let's get to that bathhouse. Anybody there? Open up. <laughs> Such a big bang. Getting impatient here. I really need a bath right now. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuben that we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. 
Please wait. There we go, wasn't too hard, was it? Sigi Ruven cordially invites you to join him. I'm Happen. Happen. Interesting name. Happen. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Oh, so we have to take off our clothes to go through? Okay. Get undressed and put your clothes. Your equipment will in the dresser. Alright, let's take these plants. What are these plants? Oh no, I can get them outside. It's through here. Ah, it's locked. Damn it. Okay. Let's get naked! Okay. He doesn't blush. Ugh. Whoa. Virginia cut off his arm, then ordered him to Girl's just lying oh, around on the ground, the naked. Then he sent the body back, offering a hand extended in peace. I was made for loving. The horse. <laughs> Clear that you've not So is this meant to be like a brothel, but... Calls it like a bath theme brothel? <laughs> From the yes. Ah. When I thought bathhouse, I legit Easy thought like those, Horse like Japanese style bathhouse, man. where they're just there for bathing. You don't have a scribe, and we'll eliminate Junior when and only when all of us say I. Can I join you, guest. gentlemen? Tall fat guy, must be you. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? The Sultan's buddy. Reuben can't introduce me, so you guys have a history. Go let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life, and then killed that monarch. Allegedly. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Reuven. Whatever they call you these days. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the oh. fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, we need our help. weapon. Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Who are Any those guys? Just a few. That's good enough. God, we're gonna be fighting in towels, okay. <laughs> oh. Funny. One last dude. Oh, some more here. That was quick. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse on scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? True. Let's give him a chance to explain. Bad timing, just bad timing, guys. Oh, 
I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, <laughs> while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find Horse Sun? Find me first. Sometimes the language they use, it's quite crack up, eh? Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Ah, uh, what you do, girl? Sorry, Why? Nina. You're sorry. Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuben. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house, though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Okay. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got now to do with a casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Just gotta Queen go to each promising. place, then, eh? Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the pits, endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. Okay. I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. 
Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? Uh oh. He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his old mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, <laughs> might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. <laughs> Is that correction really necessary? You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. Oh. Are you serious? Dead Real. serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. Okay. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Yeah, so what's the pay? I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? Who told you? What do you mean, who? Emma did. Ha <laughs> ha. I could never reveal my sources to you or anyone else. It would be fucking unprofessional. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Cool. Let's find this horse on guy. Oh. Oh, is that a secret passage? Be so kind as to follow me. Nice. Very nice. Oh, the sewers. Okay. Nice loot, 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 loot. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Oh, whoops. Time was on my way. Got things to do, mate. Oh, Bart, not again, Bart. What's of this intense music? What's happening? Bart, stop that now. Oh, what is that? Man. Bart makes Ziggy lose Jonathan. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart, huh? Bart, less thinky. Bart, less thinky. Bart, Sadler. Ah. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfoot go! 
translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold Ooh. and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Yes, if it's about money. Fine, I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master <laughs> sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole oh, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sheep. <laughs> Bad shoes. Head full. He talks like a Pokemon. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom. Explosion. Big. This like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. <laughs> Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But... But, troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Mm. But, you see them? But, you hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe. Shroom. Sleep go. Your phone gone. Bad troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox fonts. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pop antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men. I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life. Here. All right. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Hmm. Alright, oh, I'm gonna leave the episode right there. This seems to be a side quest, not the main story. Um, but yeah, I'll see how it goes. I definitely want to do this quest, so I feel like the reward will be quite big. Um, but I also need to do Horson's quest as well, so I'll definitely do that in the next episode. Cool, thanks so much for watching guys, and see you in the next one.